65% of the population in the Arab world is under the age of 30. And if you look at this chart, you might think, wow, only 40% in the U.S. and only 51% in Asia. And J.P. Morgan notes the Middle East remains the most important global story our economy uh, has right now. Joining us now is Asda Burson Marsteller, CEO Sunil John with the company's exclusive study on what the youth are thinking in the Arab world. And Sunil, it's great to see you. Obviously, you're joining us from the U.S., uh, although you're based in Dubai. Um, you did a, a survey here of Arab youth, and I know you've done a lot of it before the crisis. When the crisis happened, you then went out and resurveyed quite a few of these young people. And, and I wanted just to ask you some of the things that changed the most once the, the 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 crisis the revolution started what changed the most in their attitudes i think the most uh, important change uh, has been that there has been a growing desire for young people to live in a democratic country uh, and that's probably the most stunning uh, uh, revelation of the refill that we did in in five countries uh, but but more importantly young people also wanted to make sure that the countries are more stable so their desire for democracy has been a little more tempered for hmm. uh, a little more stable uh, domestic rule a little more uh, less unrest because people young people want to get on with their lives still and, and let me let me put up a chart here, uh, Sunil, that we just pulled a few of the things that you highlighted uh, before uh, before the revolution started and then after when you resurveyed the change in attitudes uh, in terms of equal rights for women before the crisis. Fifty three percent of them said it was very important uh, it, post crisis. Uh, that number uh, that number surged, as you can see, to 73 percent credit to start a business before the protest. Forty nine percent of them wanted that uh, now. I believe it's 75 percent, not not seven percent there. And opportunities to leave the country. That one I also wanted to ask you about. 47 percent pre-protest. Now that's up to 68 percent. Is that something that should be concerning? That the very people who want more equal rights and more credit to start businesses want to leave? Not really. If you if you really look at the five countries that we resurveyed uh, post-protest, they were essentially Egypt, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq, and we included Bahrain in that sample. And if you look at those four countries, most of the young people, for them, life is to go into the Gulf countries and look for jobs there. For mm. that's their aspiration. So when you look at it, I, I am personally saying. not very surprised to see that movement up. Absolutely, because, yeah. be, especially because you're talking about places like Egypt. Understood. Now, what about Saudi Arabia, which is obviously uh, the, the focus right now of global markets? I wanted to um, ask you what your takeaway is from Saudi Arabia's youth. In your study, 79% of them said they want government jobs, which says a whole lot about the Saudi Arabian youth. But yet 90% of them plan to start their own business. Um, and uh, I, I'm just curious how to make sense of all that, because we always hear about Saudi Arabia being a place where you, you really, it's really struggling to get an entrepreneurial spirit. Absolutely. I I think uh, right now uh, uh, government is where most of the jobs come. The question we asked about the entrepreneurial outlook was what would you want to do in the next five years? Mm -hmm. And the answer to that was a 90 person, overwhelming majority said we want to start our own business. And I think that's a, a future perspective rather than a here and now. The here and now is to get a job. Is, right. to, is to start a family, is to have a home of your own. Mm -hmm. And if you look at that, you know, unemployment in Saudi Arabia is probably the highest, in the, in one of the highest in the, in the Gulf countries, yes. close to 11%. And I, I can understand why people would want a government job now, but yet start uh, a business of their own in the next five years. All right. Well, thank you very much. And it's interesting, Sunil. It made me think about some people I know who work for government agencies there who have their own businesses on the side. Um, uh, thanks so much for being with us. And one final thing to think about, everyone, and let us know what you think about this one. In Sunil's study, 98 percent of the Saudi youth last year thought their country was going in the right direction. Right number. Right now, that number is only 62 percent. Could be an interesting uh, sign of what's to come.